Brad Rajwa skips Meg from Jordan Royal Wedding for old Fallout, but invites Catherine to future Queen. The Jordan royal family are set for huge celebrations next week as King Abdullah II and Queen Rainier's eldest son, Crown Prince Hussein, marries his long-term girlfriend, Raja Al Saif. The first royals have confirmed their attendance for the highly anticipated wedding between Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and his bride, Rajwa Al Saif. The pair are set to tie the knot on June the 1st after announcing their engagement in August 2022 and plan to host a selection of international guests for their big day at Zaran Palace. The reception, meanwhile, will be held at Al Hasune Palace, which spans 40 hectares. The event is expected to be filled with splendour, so it's no wonder guests far and wide are confirming their invites. The VIP confirmed guest list includes Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark and his wife Mary, as well as Japan's Princess Hisako and Princess Sukuko. King Charles, Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales are invited to be there. But there's a question raised about whether Meghan and Harry will be invited. The bride, Rajwa, is Saudi Arabian-born architect. A source said that Rajwa got to know Meghan through Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed, who gave Meghan the controversial ring. The source said that Meghan had a shady relationship with the Saudi Prince, while Rajwa once attended a party that Meghan also attended. Rumour has it that Meghan has looked down on Rajwa, but now knowing that Rajwa will be the future Queen of Jordan, what will Meghan do to reach her and climb the social ladder? Of course there's no reason for her to invite Meghan and Harry to the wedding. The British royal family shares a close connection with the Jordanian royals. King Abdullah and Queen Rainier were among the 2,300 strong congregation at Westminster Abbey on the 6th of May for King Charles and Queen Camilla's coronation. Rainier, who married King Abdullah in 1993, spoke fondly about the Princess of Wales after flying to the UK in September to attend the late Queen's funeral. The two ladies have much in common. Kate, too, will one day become Queen when her husband ascends the throne, and both are mothers with a passion for children's welfare. Rainier was asked about the Princess during an interview with CNN. Jordan holds special memories for Kate. The Middleton family moved to the country when the future royal was just two years old and they later released a photograph from their time in the country. William opened up about his wife's childhood in Jordan as Crown Prince Hussein hosted him during a tour of the Middle East in 2018. Chatting to the chief executive of Save the Children, Rainier Malki, William said she loved it here. She really did. She's very upset that I'm coming here without her. Prince William visited the ruins of a Roman settlement at Jersash where Kate was pictured with Jordan's Crown Prince Hussein before posing for a picture at the same spot. The Prince of Wales told photographers, we'll have to bring the kids next time. And staying true to his word, in 2021, Kensington Palace revealed William and Kate had taken George, Charlotte and Lewis on holiday to Jordan when they released the Christmas card.